Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the Spring Transaction Management. So before going into the programming details, let's understand what is transaction. Uh, transaction we can define like this. Transaction is an activity or group of activities that are performed as a single unit of work. The characteristics of a transaction is that either all the activities that are part of the transactions are performed or none are performed. In other words, even if one of the activity fails, then all other activities are cancelled and system comes back to the state that it was in when the transaction was started. So we can understand that transaction in better using an example so this can be best explained by an example like let's say you are planning on a vacation to beautiful island and you pick up a nice booking resort you call them up and book a room to confirm your booking you need a transfer money to their account the transferring money from your account to their account uh, is considered a transaction and these are the two activities that happens in the that transaction money is debited from your account and money is credited to the resorts account both activities are required to make sure that transaction is complete if if you your money is withdrawn and some problems occurs in the system then the transaction is cancelled and the money is credited back to your account and you can try it all over again characteristics of a transaction uh, the software industry coined the acronym acid for characteristics that a transaction must have a seed uh, a seed property a seed stands for atomic a stands for atomic C stands for consistency or consistent. I stands for isolated or isol isolation or isolated. D stands for durable or durability. So let's try to understand a seed property. A, a stands for atomicity or atomic. Atomic says that all either all the activities of the transaction occur or none occur. Even if one of the activity in the group fails, then the other activities are cancelled or rolled back. C stands for consistent. Once the transaction is complete, the system is put back into the state that is, that is properly defined. From a database point of view, consistent also means that all times none of the database constraints are validated. So even if you do not commit a transaction, at no point should be foreign key constraints or unique key constraints be violated. Third property is isolation or isolated. A transaction allows multiple people to work on the same data in a way that one transaction does not affect the data of the rest of the system. Therefore, two transactions can occur simultaneously without dirty reads this is generally accomplished by locking the rows of the database or the database table itself d stands for durability or durable the changes of the transactions are persisted to the permanent storage like database so this is the a small video where we have gone through the concept about the transactions next video tutorial will look into the more depth about the transactions so see you there guys if you like my video then please subscribe my youtube channel so that you will get update about the my recent upload so thanks for watching this video